Okay, worst lighting in the world, but just bear with me. I'm in Portland for work. I wanted to show you guys this before we get started. So I had an iced Americano with half and half earlier, but I didn't drink any of it. So I was like, you know what? I kind of don't want to waste it and I want to drink it. So I was going to get just a venti cup of ice to revive my drink, but I ended up asking for caramel drizzle on the sides. So let's see if this is genius or a fail this is my americano from earlier and we're just gonna pour it into here and i low-key think it's gonna be amazing when i was going through the drive through i was like i will explain because like i literally just ordered a cup of ice with caramel drizzle um and the girls were like oh i think it'll be good so let's oh my god okay like I shouldn't even be in this parking lot because I already was extra as fuck and now I'm honking. Okay, so let's mixy, mixy, mixy. And let's go ahead and try it. Okay, so it tastes like my basic ass Americano with a hint of caramel because I don't think the drizzle does go into the drink that much, right? I'm really happy with it. So anyways, if you guys do have a drink that you're kind of bored with, like throughout the day or you haven't drank it, you can always spice it up by doing that. Like getting a different cup, adding ice if it was hot or some other shit like that, you know? Right, so like I just drove to downtown Portland from my work site which is like 20 minutes away but let me just tell you i almost died like a million times on my way here because i drank a bunch of coffee la drivers are very aggressive and crazy so i'm used to that and i feel like my driving fits in in la because like whatever people are more used to crazy driving but here everyone is super conscious about everything and like especially driving like everyone's like the no you go type which i don't know if you guys know from portlandia the whole no you go thing where it's like everyone gives their right of way to someone else and i'm clearly not like that so i basically just like drive and do whatever and act like i'm the only one on the road which is not good anyways i'm parked on the side of the road and i'm vlogging and i feel like people here probably think this is very obnoxious because this city is so fucking like pc and like anti like mainstream and like all that other bullshit which i'm really like that too but like it's to the point where like it's mainstream in Portland to not be mainstream. Like, does that make sense? So it's like, if you do something that's mainstream at that point, like, you're basically out. I don't know if, like, I'm a fan of that. Because, like, I mean, yes, I'm into things that aren't mainstream. And I like to find new and interesting things. But... I'm also into, like, basic-ass things and mainstream-as-fuck things like this. You know what I mean? Anyways, enough about me. Um, I am here at the OnCloud store. If you guys don't know OnClouds, I've talked about it on my Instagram. They're my favorite brand of shoes currently at least for like active or like everyday wear they're made in switzerland so swiss essentially they were created as running shoes very lightweight like you're running on a cloud and i really like them and it's so cool because they weren't we're talking about mainstream but they're not mainstream at all they were not um and every time you would see someone with on clouds like it would be a vibe like i would approach them i'd be like hey or like not approach them but just like if i'm passing by like it would be a little moment like hey love your shoes i have the same pair or if i was wearing them like it would be a fun little thing um because they're not sold in stores and many people don't know about them but now they're actually super mainstream um which i'm not opposed to but because I always love when things go mainstream because more people have access to them but then it also kind of you know definitely takes away from the experience once it goes mainstream so I was in REI like in LA and I see like a whole selection of on clouds and I was like bro 
what? Like, this has gone mainstream. So, whatever. I've been supporting them for five years. I've had at least three or four pairs. Um, and they last a long time. I found out that they actually now have a full flagship store and their first US location is in Portland. So let's go and check them out because I need hiking shoes. Let's go. Okay, so I tried on a pair of the hiking. They have a brand new one that they're exclusively carrying in REI, which I love REI. I call it Bougie Outdoor Store. Um, but yeah, she said the store is around the corner, but it's not. And I think people here are not lazy ass fucking bitches like me and like LA people. So I'm definitely driving there. I'm not walking there. It's freezing. So let's go check out REI. Okay, so this is why I call this store the bougie outdoor store because literally they have everything here and you can easily drop like hundreds if not thousands because it's so expensive but like I love it. Also, like, I don't really do any outdoor shit, so... Hey, you guys. So I just got back to my hotel room after the whole On Clouds and then REI. I didn't like the hiking shoes that they were recommending from On Cloud. Not that I didn't like them, but first of all, there were only two colors. One was white and one was yellow. And the Armenian in me is screaming like that shit is going to get dirty in two seconds when you're hiking. So I'm sorry. No, but I will show you guys the shoes I did get. By the way, what I love about REI 2 is that it's a co-op. And if you don't know what a co-op is, it's basically a collective. So all the members basically own the store. For example, there are co-ops for grocery stores. Um, there are credit unions, which are basically co-ops because all the members own like it's not a corporation essentially right i don't think it's considered a corporation basically even the people who make decisions um in a co-op like whether it's rei or the grocery stores whatever like they're all elected by the members and then also at the end of i'm pretty sure this is how fuck i don't know but i know like with credit unions um at the end of the fiscal year, they don't make a profit. It's literally a not-for-profit organization. Um, so what that means is like, if there is a profit at the end of the fiscal year, it goes back to the members in lower interest rates or things like that. And the same with REI and stuff, you make, you'll basically get like a cut of whatever comes or like they'll divide it up and then you'll get part of it so i got tevas or i don't know how you say that but i've seen them around before and this is the thing with rei it's like super white people bougie in the sense that like look at this shoe like it looks very basic right but it's literally 150 dollars so i mean they were comfortable af and honestly they're kind of cute like they're basic but cute um, and they're like sort of greenish. They had a brown one too. Um, and so these are my new hiking shoes. They have Vibram soles. And I think because I'm in LA, like it's not heavy duty and like I'm not going to be hiking 24 seven. So I think these were good. The ones by OnCloud were like 180. So I think these were better. And um, yeah. Another thing I've been trying here in Oregon is this brand of wine. It's called Dear Mom and it's local. I got like three of these tiny ones. They have rosé, I had a white wine and there's a sparkling white wine version. And they're super nice and small. Like I feel like this is the perfect size for me. Um, unless I'm trying to get like super turned up, but I mean, I am here for work, so. Wow, this is really good. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go finish my wine and then I have other stuff to do later, but, um, okay, bye.